Good morning. Today is the 26th day of June in this 2024th year of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, we've been uh, beaching it and pooling it and just uh, relaxing and helping our daughter, who's a teacher, to kind of have a break and relax a bit uh, and uh, just enjoying life. Hope everyone is doing the same for the summer and uh, staying well. Uh, today we have a little um, warm day. I think it's projected that the, the temperature will feel at some point like 108 degrees. So we're going to have to uh, make some choices here to see uh, how physical we'll be with our activity or not. And just perhaps hunker down and stay inside and enjoy the air conditioning. Uh, have some phone calls to make for some preparations for this weekend. Uh, Nancy Scholl's memorial service uh, will be at 2 p.m. on Saturday at Trinity Lutheran Church if you knew Nancy. We certainly hope you would come out and support Roger and Hunter and uh, Roger's daughter and uh, the family and uh, be a part of that celebration of her life. Uh, today, a reading of the 143rd Psalm. <laughs> Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplication in your faithfulness. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. For no one living is righteous before you. For the enemy has pursued me, crushed my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. Therefore my spirit faints within me. My heart within me is appalled. I remember the days of old. I think about all of your deeds. I meditate on the works of your hands. I stretch out your hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like the parched land. Answer me quickly, O Lord, my spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I shall be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your steadfast love in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Teach me the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Save me, O Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on a level path. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. In your steadfast love, Cut off my enemies and destroy all my adversaries, for I am your servant. The Word of the Lord. A brief reading today from C.S. Lewis's Mere Christianity. People often think of Christian morality as a kind of bargain in which God says, if you keep my lot of rules, I'll reward you, and if you don't, I'll do the other thing. I do not think that is the best way of looking at it. I would much rather say that every time you make a choice, you are turning the central part of you, the part of you that chooses, into something a little different from what it was before. And taking your life as a whole, with all your innumerable choices, all your life long, you are slowly turning from central a thing, either into a heaven creature or into a hellish creature. Either into a creature that is in harmony with God and with other creatures and with itself, or else into one that is in a state of war and hatred with God and with its fellow creatures and with itself. To be the other kind of creature is heaven. That is, it is joy and peace and knowledge and power. To be the other means madness, horror, idiocy, rage, impotence and eternal loneliness. Each of us at each moment 
is progressing to the one state or to the other choices. And let us pray. Help us to consider well the choices that life brings to us and from our very heart and soul let us be touched by your guiding presence to make those choices which are heavenly bound to make those choices which will reveal the holy within the moments that we live and share Lord God I thank you for this day we pray that you would protect all who are in and out of the weather that are affected by the work environment that may be difficult and oppressive. Help them to make smart choices to stay cool and present and hydrated. Watch over those that watch over others, those lifeguards and pool attendants that in our resorts and in our beaches people might find a sense of comfort and presence and help and safety we thank you O lord for the gift of your love which empowers us for greatness and good we thank you for the gift of your salvation which brings us hope <clears throat> hope that christ has revealed we thank you for fellowship and for family and for those that we love and are loved by us. Strengthen us, O oh Lord, in our care one for another. We pray for the people of Gaza, of Ukraine, North Korea, Russia, Israel, of the troubled places of this world where people struggle for a sense of purpose where people struggle for their lands and a sense of pride, a sense, a sense of worth in the sight of others, even of their enemies. We pray your more perfect peace might abide. We ask your hand of healing to be upon all for whom we intercede, for Nikki and Tom, for Kenneth and Gay and Barry, for Donna, for Elaine, for Miriam, Laura. Pray, O oh Lord, for Evelyn and James, for Evelyn Tompkins, for Mark and Katie. We ask your healing presence to be with Jenny and Linda, with Charlotte, with Gail, and with all others that we commend to your loving care. Into your hands, O oh Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy your son Jesus who taught us that we might pray together our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor, giving you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord this day and forevermore. Amen.